Alright, I had to film this because this is the most strangest effect I have ever seen. Um, I completely disconnected the Tesla coil, so the effect wasn't coming from the Tesla coil. Uh, the effect is somehow coming from the ZVS. Um, this is insane. And for those who don't know, a DC capacitor installed in series with anything is a blocking device. So, I hardly got any sleep over this trying to figure it out. Um, all we have is our 6 amp hour, 12 volt DC, LIFE PO4 battery. Um, the positive input passes through a series connected capacitor before going into the low voltage positive DC input end. Um... So that should block all charge. Our negative input side is disconnected. And I've blown multiple LED lights experimenting with this. And again, just so I thought I wasn't going crazy, I installed another series capacitor on the output. So there's no way some form of um, charge could be leaking through. It's some type of non-conventional energy transfer that is extremely novel in nature. And I blew all my all of these little LED lights testing it. When I removed the Tesla coil and started connecting these lights, the effect got more powerful. Um, and this is the weirdest thing. It occurs on any in on any part of the uh, ZVS, even on the tops of the capacitors. It is extremely strange. So I had to show this effect, and it's just absolutely bizarre. I'm going to walk around with it. So this should not be occurring in any way. There's no way for DC charge to flow through normally in the system. We have a capacitor here in series with our input. This capacitor just sitting right here. Um... In, we have two capacitors in series in the line. On the low voltage input line, positive, and again on the output line. It, it, we should have no light lit, but yet we do somehow. Um, the charge on the battery is... I believe it's 14 volts. It's a fully charged battery, and in fact it won't lose charge when running this LED. Actually, 14.24 for a charge on that battery. So I don't understand what this effect is, and it is extremely simple. Nearly lost sleep over it. Um, it doesn't drain the battery when this effect occurs. In fact, it'll even slightly charge the battery. And we can connect multiple LEDs in, in uh, series, and I blew out my all my bigger LEDs. I have to order more. I thought I had more, but I didn't. And I just have to pop it open. Oh, I gotta spread the... There we go. Come on. Alright, so this is where it gets even weirder. It's like the higher of an impedance you put on it, it has no problem lighting it. So it's very bizarre. I can't measure a frequency when I put it on my oscilloscope. And again, this is how one of the series capacitors looks. 50 volt, 220 UF. Um, this line just goes into the negative of our battery. It's really strange. I don't know how this occurred. I can, I can pick this up and move it anywhere I want. In fact, we will do that. Um, I'll move it somewhere else. It's very strange. It's nice and dark right here. So, again, I, I don't know how this effect is occurring. Um, it's, it's passing through a DC capacitor, the energy. A DC capacitor blocks all form of DC current flow. And we have two of them in the line. It's just absolutely bizarre that that light should not be lighting in any way at all. But yet it is. And the battery does not drain. 
So we either created some form of extremely novel energy harvesting device or something else is going on that we're not quite sure of, but um, I don't know. It's strange. And the voltage potential here isn't the voltage potential of the battery. This voltage potential here is like 13 volts or something weird. I'll show that. So I'll hook up um, on the capacitor. So the voltage potential is very... Yeah, and it slowly charges up. There's some type of high frequency power that gets gated into the system somehow through the capacitors through the, through the series installed capacitors I don't know how that's occurring and again I just hook up the light and it lights when I first make the connection it's very bright it's very bright at first and then it reaches like a more steady state so I don't I, I don't know if we're actually truly harvesting zero point energy somehow with an extremely simple setup um, using the capacitors all the system is is just the driving battery the series installed capacitor two of them and the LED lights which should not be possible at all because a, capa a DC capacitor installed in series with it, anything DC is a blocking device. No DC current should flow at all. Our board is not energized. It usually glows red when energized. Um, I can't even energize this board normally because if I did so, I would blow the LED. So it's it's absolutely bizarre. I don't know how how that's possible. And the power is somehow leaky. Like I can touch this leg of the um, the lead and I can touch the capacitor and the light dimly glows it's somehow a, a leaky power flowing through which is really strange and the LED even glows slightly brighter when I just bring the lead near it so it's some form of strange RF occurring and I'm in the middle of a rural spot here, in a farm town. Um, I have nothing weird nearby, no RF towers. And if I put an oscilloscope on this, I can't read a frequency. So I, I don't understand how this is happening. I'll give you a good look at everything. This effect has been driving me nuts. This goes into the negative pole of our battery. It's, it's just really two main components. It's the battery. Um, it's the ZVS. But we installed a series capacitor on the positive DC input of the ZVS on the low voltage side. So that alone should be blocking all DC current flow. And again, to rule out a strange effect, I installed another DC capacitor in series, and the effect still occurs. Um, and the most mind-boggling is if I touch this lead to any part of the ZVS except the bottom heatsink, the light lights. It's even it's very bizarre. And even if I touch the top of the capacitor, it will light. Um, I don't understand at all what is occurring here so figured I'd show that demonstrate that it, it got even more simple which is very strange um, lift everything up take a voltage reading of the battery just had to film this it was driving me crazy um, This, this means, if this is true, somehow capacitors gate a charge. Um, I think we dropped 0.1 volt. 
And I think that's just the normal resting voltage of the battery slowly going down. But I, I don't understand how this effect is occurring at all. Um, I just have to film it and show how strangely simple it is. If you reproduce this, please do and study it. Um, and keep in mind when first connecting things, it, it can it does tend to blow your components. Um, so it's strange. Somehow the ZVS in tandem with the battery and the series capacitors and the LED light is somehow gating in an energy flow or an energy charge. Um, those DC capacitors should completely block all forms of DC current flow. So it's it's very it's very odd. In fact, they'll get up and walk around again. It's just absolutely very odd. I don't understand it at all. Very strange. Light isn't blinking or faltering in any way. So it's some type of inherent charge off the system. So I'll leave that there. Um, again, it's very strange. Give you a good look at the whole system. And I always put this board down on the wire. That gets so annoying. Just right into the negative pole of the battery and it... It works, somehow. Very strange. So, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and something strange and interesting is occurring.